together. Hey! White boy wasted. Blue stick pasted. White boy wasted. Blue stick pasted. You're uh, listening to a very special edition of the MEO podcast on location at the Outland Ballroom. If you've been listening to our show, then you've definitely heard their music. I've got Wallpaper, uh, Reed, 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 and Novena. That's right. The lovely Novena. Uh, coming back to Springfield on the way to Wakarusa. Wakaru. Um, hallelujah. I'm always tired of hearing people do music that I can't relate to. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't have $25,000 worth of diamonds on my wrist. And I'm not a gangbanger, so yeah, it's, it's, not, hard. it's not about escapism anymore. People are done with, with trying to escape in that in that sense. People want to hear about the, the real shit. The real shit. I want to yeah. hear about, uh, you know, going big on the weekend. Did you picture when you were doing, like, the T-Rex videos and stuff that you were, would get to this point? Um, I mean, you always... You you want to, to have, you know, big... Big things happen and, and success and all that, but the only way that you get to that point is by just doing what you're doing as good as you can in the moment. So when we're making T-Rex, making that video, or making videos for anything, making a video for good for it, it's all about you know the day of what is the task and like how can we knock whatever it is we're doing out of the park. Every show, every interaction with every fan, you know, every song, whatever. So yeah, you do have goals and you have you know the the end result but the means to the ends are what you need to work on to work it out twerk it out wallpaper may eventually be too big to come through springfield because i know we're kind of a secondary market as far as uh music goes so i'm really hoping the show tonight turns out really well so you will come back yeah i don't think we could ever not come back to springfield our shows here are always bananas it's good. Um, it's like vacation shows. Like we, there's not a lot of like pressure to like come out and like act all of this or that. Like we just come out and just have fun. We drink with with kids post show. Like with kids. With underage kids, <laughs> we do underage drinking after the show. It's, it's really good. I I have a question about one of your song lyrics in the stupid faced song you mentioned. Road rolls. Is that a uh, Reference to Lambert's? That is a reference to Lambert's, yes. Nice. After the um, first time we played here in the in the downstairs, I, I smashed a, a big gourd rattle that I had. It was just the most chaotic, wild show. And um, we didn't actually eat at Lambert's, but I saw a signs home of the throat and rolls. And I was like, that sounds tight. And I think the next time or the time after that, we finally hit it up. I think, it's roles. A, I think it's a weird marketing strategy that, you know, hey, we're going to throw shit at you, and that's why you're going to come and... Yeah. And, uh, we almost went there today just to get the rolls memorable. thrown at us. Yeah, get nice. the rolls thrown at us. I was talking to Novena earlier, and mm. I found out that she was Sly Stone's daughter, and uh, that was really exciting. Uh, but uh, you did a song with George Clinton. Mm-hmm. How did that come about? Uncle George. Um... It was kind of weird how it came about. I mean, we had mutual friends. He ended up coming out and meeting us, the band collectively, for the first time. I think it was at South by Southwest a few years ago. And um, yeah, we just sort of like let him hear some of the music and everything. And uh, he he's like, you know, he's my big like he he's my hero. Like if there's any musicians like that. And I know you've known George for a long time, right? I swim in his pool. Before I was born. <laughs> nice. You were swimming in the woo. Yeah. <laughs> um, and the studio sessions with George are incredible. He's still, he's still, such a genius. I mean, he is out of his mind in the very, very best possible way. Um, when do we get to hear the new album? Do you have a, a release date set? Yes. Or the new time album is coming out. Sometime in the 20s of July. Okay, do you have a name for it? Ricky Reed is real. Ricky Reed is real.